So I went to video boot camp at DIY A Go Go in Encinitas, and we only had four hours to finish a complete piece of furniture. Here's my story. Have you ever seen something really, really cheap? Maybe free, hello, my favorite F word, and you just have to have it, and you don't even care that it's all janky. The top was chipped off, the sides were peeling, it was in really bad shape, but something inside of me just said, take me home. First, get off all the loose stuff. Better it fall off in your hands than in your customer's hands. Started picking off the loose ends and the whole thing just started coming off in sheets and it was hot outside and I was like, Got out my texture medium. It's a great boo-boo fixer. I use the texture medium. We do have it on our website. It's in two different sizes. It's great for raised stencils. You can use it with a roller. You can use it to hand trowel and you can even use it to fix furniture. I added some molds and then I decided it needs more because more is more, right? And it's a French piece. So you totally have to zhuzh it up really good. I love the classic elements mold. I like to add a little bit of cornstarch for easy release, tap out the excess. IOD clay is my favorite. It's the best on my hands. And the new micro rim makes it so easy to get a good release and it removes the excess clay. It's awesome, you guys. You have to try it. Look at that, shebangy. My molds are like, they're kind of like doing one of those. <laughs> they're getting all distorted. So I had to like step away from the molds. About three hours into it, we had an hour left. I decided I'm gonna change this top. Like, cause I'll never be able to live with myself if I see this. This is gonna give me nightmares. Well, I always say this, you don't always know what you like, but you always know what you don't like. Because when it doesn't look good, you know it. But if you get that happy feeling on the inside, you know you're going in the right direction, right? I mean, right. come on, who's with me? To put more texture cream on there. I had to wait for it to dry. I will start the color washing. I just mixed water with Sandy Blonde and got it like really, really soupy. And I just poured it on there and I took a newspaper. You want newspaper because it doesn't have any lint in it. I didn't put it all over because I just wanted it kind of like peeking out, kind of like a one of these, you know, like I applied the wash on there. I patted it all down and I started kind of twisting and turning it and just, it, there's no right or wrong. If it looks good to you, it's good. I did add an extra mold on there. So I put the classic elements because you know, I hate naked legs. Finished it off with a little bit of dark wax and the winner was the golden ticket over the molds. It was delicious. So the key with golden ticket is you want to put it in places that accent your piece. If you did the whole thing, it wouldn't, I don't think it would be all that great. It would look like it belonged in Liberace's house. I mean, you need to just put it over the places that you want to accent because it's special. It's like you wouldn't wear all your jewelry at the same time you wear one or two pieces and it makes it special. So you want to use it wherever you want it to accent. I really related to this furniture piece. My Facebook page was recently hacked and I lost three years of hard work and 12,000 followers. I didn't understand how this could happen to me. Honestly, I was heartbroken. But that's kind of how life is sometimes. I feel like sometimes you need to get stripped down to the bare bones, the janky stage, and then God will build you back up again. Sometimes what you have is not all that he has for you. And you know what? Sometimes I guess I needed a do-over. Here she is in all her glory. All products used in the video are available on our website, www vintageretailtherapy.com. And hey, if you're my kind of crazy, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.